As learning facilitators, we intuitively know that successful learning is dependent on many factors, including content, motivation, and context. What is often less clear is exactly how the brain absorbs new stimuli acquired in a given learning experience. As an aid in understanding this part of learning acquisition process, let's turn our focus to four types of learning as described by Illuris. Cumulative, assimilative, accommodative, and transformational learning. The scholarly ideas that inform this Illuris learning typology emanate from behaviorism, cognitivism, social learning, and constructivism, along with the influence of developmental and gestalt psychology. For our purposes, understanding that for brain functions relative to learning, thinking, and memory, the acquisition process requires the existence of a connection between new impulses or stimuli and established mental structures. Metaphorical constructs have been developed by scholars to label these abstract mental structures to include mental schemes, mental models, and our neural traces. So what's the relationship between the four types of learning and the acquisition process? First, cumulative learning occurs in situations where the learner has no existing mental scheme from which they can link to new stimuli. While this type of learning generally occurs during childhood, it may also occur in adulthood. Examples include memorizing a telephone number, learning to ride a bike, or any learning that is rote in nature and requires repetition and practice in order to build the initial mental structure. Second, assimilative learning occurs when existing mental schemes are able to absorb new stimuli, either by building on or adding to what already is there. Assimilative learning represents the more generalized learning acquired regularly through the life course, as individuals add or expand mental models, either formally or informally. Examples include creating words from letters, adding to our knowledge of history, trying different foods, or building technology skills over time. Third, accommodative learning occurs when new stimuli cannot be absorbed into an existing mental scheme, often causing a level of discomfort due to inconsistencies or a lack of fit. The existing scheme must be broken down to allow the acquisition of new stimuli to occur successfully. This process may be short or longer in situations where individuals need to rebalance their sense of equilibrium while creating a new mental structure. Examples include problem solving using solutions never encountered before or when dealing with a personal relationship that requires new ways of thinking or acting. Finally, transformational learning occurs when multiple mental schemes relative to all three learning dimensions content, incentive, and environment require major restructuring in order for an individual to move forward after facing a substantive and usually discomforting life experience. These significant learning experiences may be planned or unplanned and positive or negative. Examples include changing life circumstances such as death of a loved one, divorce, new career, loss of a job, or birth of a child.